Hey everybody, Courtney Smith here with our Wall Street winners for May the 4th. Oh my God, we're almost halfway through the year. All right, and I'm somehow or another, I never get all the way through reading this. What can I say? All right, I have some big changes in my attitude. Pretty dramatic changes. Um, I think that this rally might be over. Now, that's a pretty dramatic call. And unfortunately, I really only get to speak to you once a week. So I may be looking like a fool on Tuesday, maybe even Monday. But let me explain to you what's going on here. So as you can see, we've had a very nice rally from the 2200 lows all the way up to 2950. That's a fantastic rally. That's a 30% rally. That's a bull market in and of itself. So that's pretty fantastic. But a couple of things are making me very nervous. I've already mentioned to you before the declining volume on the rally. Declining volume means that volume is not confirming the price action. That's bearish. Then look at the purple predictor, the purple line. The purple line, two things. Number one, it started to diverge from the price action back at the beginning of April, a month ago. And price action has been more sluggish since then, but it's still been going up. But now, if you look very closely, the purple predictor is making a new one, I guess, three-week low. Stocks are still making highs, but the purple predictor did not make a new high two days ago, and it's now making a new low. It's in a bear market now. That means the smart money's selling. It looks to me as though uh, the 35% rally got prices up to an overvalued condition, and the smart money's taking their profits. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Should we be part of the smart money or the dumb money? Let's take a look at the Dow. Now, in this particular case, in the upper right-hand corner, uh, I think I mentioned last week about how the black line had started to move up, which would confirm a bull market. But now it's starting to move down again. So, so much for that. You can see that buying pressure is still slightly higher than, than selling pressure, but the alligator jaws have closed. And now buying pressure is, is coming down. Selling pressure is going up. In the NASDAQ, same situation as the S&P. Failed to make a new high two days ago and broke to a new low on the move on Friday. It's now, the purple predictor is now in a bear market. Not good. Not good. The smart money is the smart money. And guess what? The smart money makes the money. Seasonality, I'm still going to leave it at neutral. Um, let's take a look over here. But we're in a period where we should see the market drop until about the third week in May. So we've got about three weeks of negative price action. And uh, when we look at the purple predictor and some of the other indicators, it makes perfect sense that we should sell off for a few weeks. Not a major bear market. Now, we always have to consider that the major bear market may come back, all right? But first, we have to look at the next three weeks. Then at the end of those three weeks, we can decide if it's going to be a major bear market or not. Or we can even look sooner than that, depending on the price action. Uh, yield curve is very stable. Uh, asset allocation, stable. Stock market risk decator popped up a bit early in the week and then came down a little bit. Um, all right. Global shares about the same as the U.S. shares. Bonds, uh, the purple predictor remains bullish, uh, but the price action is very, very boring right now. Uh, our indicators suggest that we could start to see the interest rates come down. In other words, cause a bull market. Why do I say that? Look at the blue line all of a sudden collapsed. That's German interest rates have collapsed. Now, I think they're really just catching up with the U.S., so I'm not counting it as a big bearish factor for interest rates, um, but I think they're just catching up. Dollar uh, down a lot early in the week, a lot of support there. So um, I think we'll probably stay in this range. Uh, gold, a big rally on Friday. We had a big drop on Thursday, big rally on Friday. But now we have basically a consolidation pattern. Uh, the old highs that we made back at the end of February, early March, end of March, uh, they've turned out to be support. So, so far the market's being supported there, but the highs on 
at the beginning of April and the third week in April are declining faster. So there's a, a good chance that gold could go down. Uh, gold indicators, however, turned bullish. So let's go back here. So that rally on Friday might have been very significant and looking for another leg to the upside. Just chart price action, not bullish. But our key indicators turn bullish. Last week we had all three were uh, neutral. Now we've got two out of three are bullish. So look for gold to try to rally here, at least early in the week. Crude oil uh, rallied up. So that's actually good for the economy. Uh, look for it to rally up to the 20 to $28 range. We were stuck in that range for a month and a half, and I think the market's going to try to get back up into that range uh, because a lot of price action occurred there. And the market likes to be where it's been in the past. Uh, Bitcoin, big, big breakout to the upside. Um, I got to be bullish here. I don't have a position, but I got to look for a position starting now. All right, freebies. Thanks very much for coming by. Fully paid, on, fully paid up members, hold on for just a second. Hey, freebies for Wall Street winners. Really appreciate having you here and love to have you participate in the Wall Street winners every week. But I also wanted to show you where I get a lot of my information and where I monitor my information. And it's from the Stock Butler, stockbutler.com. And what it is, is that it takes the system that I teach in my Stock Financial Freedom System course, my live two-day seminar, and it codifies and systematize and makes it super easy to use. Let me just show you some of the things. I would go there, read their literature. That's really great. But let me show you a couple of things that I use. So I always talk about in Wall Street winners uh, our best of the best stocks. Now, when you're a fully paid up member, you see my best of the best stocks. But for example, I can come up here and I hit rate and I go to best of the best and I click on it. Now I've already signed in. There it is. There's my best of the best stock. These are the best of the best stocks that you should be looking at buying. In this particular case, you can see the green one is a new one this week. So guess what? In the fully paid up section, this is a new recommendation. We also, uh, Stock Butler also rates the stocks, A, B, C. Here is a change. This one was changed in its uh, rating. So it does some amazing things. It makes it super easy for you to trade, to monitor. It also has other techniques up here our hot hands, our pit bulls, seasonality, advanced stock list, many different ways in order to find great stocks and then to monitor them. So when you click on one of these stocks, it comes back and it tells you how the rating occurred. Here's the actual analysis that went in to rating this stock a B, incredible. And the cost is nominal. I highly recommend it. Go there to stockbutler.com and check it out. I think you're going to love it. Talk to you later.